Virgo season 2024 is really going to be pushing us to really get some things on our calendar, get things planned out, get things scheduled, because that's just kind of that Virgo energy. And then we've also got this amazing energy of just like, what are we going to do with the rest of the year? What are we going to complete during the rest of the year? Now, one of the things that Virgo is also really pushing us to do is to take care of ourselves. And one of the best ways to do that is some grounding exercises. So however this looks like over the next 30 days to do some grounding for yourself, make sure you do. This could be some meditations. This could be meditations of like grounding. This could be tree meditations, which help us ground through the energy of the tree. This could also just grounding our feet onto Mother Earth. So this could be just taking a walk through your grass, through a yard, through the garden, um, through a park, kind of just like getting that grounding energy. This could be just kind of like sitting on a bench and just really just kind of like taking in all of the energy that's around us. Like what is coming in at us? What do we need to take care of? And how does this feel for our energy? Because once we kind of feel that energy of just like grounding this energy, feeling the breeze on our skin is really going to help us feel grounded and more connected to Mother Earth, which can also help us amp up our own healing ability, our own immune system, and really get ready for what's about to happen for us. One of the big ideas that we're going to have really pushing this idea of taking care of us is we have our asteroid Vesta in the sign of Virgo. And this really starts to happen as it gets into the sign on the 24th of August. And it'll be in the sign for the next couple of weeks. And this is all about kind of like balancing our heart's desire and our our need to succeed. Kind of like bringing that into a better balance and usually than we normally do. And this can really help create some great rituals and some ideas and balance in our schedule. Now, on August 28th, we have Mercury going out of retrograde and kind of into that post-shadow energy for a little bit. So it's going to start lightening and getting easier and kind of not so hard and stiff energy. And this is really a great one because we've had a very dramatic, traumatic um Mercury in retrograde. So this will kind of just lighten that energy even more. And it's going to get easier and easier as each day goes. Make sure you're not fighting Mercury's energy and you're just flowing with it. It'll make things go much easier. Now with Venus in the sign of Libra from the 29th of August for the next few weeks, it is really going to be bringing the end of our summer of love energy because it's kind of like Libra's that that energy of like, let's bring balance and restore things that have happened. And then Venus just brings that love aspect. So these two together for the next few weeks are going to kind of really, um, but I will tell you, September 1 has some crazy things going on. First off, we have Uranus going into retrograde in the sign of Taurus. This is going to kind of really set off the rest of our year. Uranus is our planet of unpredictability, um, revolutions, kind of like changing our thinking, kind of like we were thinking this and now we're thinking this. And this is going to be bringing it up. And it's also going to be showing off kind of all of this like toxic energy. Any relationships, any ideas or patterns that we've had have had a toxic energy to them is going to be like brought up so we can see them and kind of like where are we going with all of this energy. I guarantee you, you are going to see this on a global stage. With Uranus so far out there, it is really going to be putting toxic relationships, toxic energy on the forefront and bringing it out so people can look at it, judge for themselves, and change their thinking. Now, the next big thing on September 1st is we have Pluto that's been in retrograde in the sign of Aquarius has backed up enough that it's gone all the way back into Capricorn. Now, this is the last time it's going to be in Capricorn in our lifetime because it's going to be like 249 years and that looks really old. With the energy of this retrograde still around us, we have to keep working on and this is really going to keep bringing up things that we've been working on on and off since 2008. I know it's like way back then. Yeah, it's going to be bringing these up so we can kind of look at them differently, think about them differently and get them off our plate. If not, it's going to come up again and again over this retrograde and they're going to get more harsh and more intense until we figure them out. With our new moon in the sign of Virgo on September 2nd, it's really going to be pushing us to start new things, kind of like getting our new thinking, getting ready for our autumn season coming into effect with our equinox later on in the month. And this is really going to be pushing us to get things on our calendar. Now, on September 17th, we have our full moon eclipse in the sign of Pisces, and it is really going to be a very harsh 
very stern energy for us. Pisces is always wanting us to look at our intentions and our setting forth that energy. And our full moon eclipse is going to be really telling us where we've made those mistakes in the past and really wanting us to kind of like shake things up and really, really pushing us ugh, most adamantly pushing us into making some changes for ourselves, pushing us in to understanding our intentions, our insight, our intuition are all correct. And that's what we should be following and not following everybody else's energy.